Okay, we're making progress. It's time to move to the second part of our series. This time we're talking about shortcut keys within the file manager. And the most important of all, in my humble opinion, is how do you open the file manager? It's Windows, the Windows key and E. We talked about this in the last chapter, but Windows key and E will automatically pull up that file manager and uh, get it up on our screen. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. Again, there are key sequences to help you figure out how to do this. We'll learn those as we go. Uh, but now that I have this open, people are always saying, I'm going to forget all these key sequences. I don't understand. I can't remember them. I get them confused, etc. So I'm going to give you the easiest way to get out of this, which is if you will just hold the Alt key. And now this works in almost every application. Certainly in Windows 10 it works. Notice when I hold the Alt key, look what happens to my screen. So I hold Alt, and now you'll see an H, an S, and a V have come up. And what it's doing is, this is showing me the keyboard shortcuts for the menu system. So for example, if I wanted to go to the View command, while I have Alt down, if I just type V, it switched me to the tab for View um, automatically. And again, you hold down that Alt key and I can move backwards, I can move forwards. Even in the ribbon itself, you'll see the layouts are L. Uh, if I wanna look at hidden items, it's HH. If I wanna look at uh, uh, item from checkboxes, it's HT. So if you ever get lost, no matter what you're doing, and this works on the applications too. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, Microsoft Excel, just to show you what I'm talking about. We'll open up a blank spreadsheet. But if I hold down this Alt key, now you'll notice all the commands, the keyboard shortcut keys are highlighted. In this case, they're, they're dark um, because it's a white background that they're against. But any application that you're in, especially if it's a Microsoft product, just hold down that Alt key and I'll always remind you of these keyboard shortcuts. So again, I wanna go N for insert. I'm still holding down my Alt key and now I see all the keyboard combinations for things um, that I might want to insert into this particular deal. It's a great way to learn these key sequences. Uh, you just hit Alt again and they go away. Uh, but it's a great way to learn these key sequences and to slowly teach yourself more and more about the shortcuts that are enabled inside these products. Okay? Um, so, let's go into File Manager again. I'm in File Manager right here. And one of the first things I want to show you is how you can change um, the size of the folder. Now I just realized I don't have a mouse on here. I've been using a touchpad, uh, but I promise you, if you do have a, a mouse with a scroll wheel, if you'll hold down your control key and then slide your mouse forward or slide your mouse back, um, you can actually zoom in and zoom out. And I'll do this in a, a separate screen just so you can see because this machine I'm using doesn't have a mouse on it right now. I don't need a mouse because I'm learning keyboard shortcuts. Uh, but anyway, control and scroll forward and scroll back can allow you to zoom in and zoom out uh, inside of the uh, application. I may want to, by the way, uh, when I click on something, I may want to see a preview of this. Now, a lot of people leave their preview on all the time, but especially with large documents, sometimes it'll slow your computer down while it's waiting to load up that preview. And because I'm scrolling across stuff, oftentimes I don't really want to preview. It's just the first document that happens to be plugged into a particular thing. So you can leave that preview off if you want to in your file manager, and you just turn it on anytime you want to. How do I do that? It's simply Alt-P. So notice Alt-P turns the preview on, Alt-P turns the preview off. So I love preview, I, I use it a lot, but if your machine's not fast enough or you're slow on memory or you have really big files, turn it off and then just click on whatever you want, in this case the master DB, Alt P, and because it's an access file, there is no preview for an access file, so that was kind of a silly one to, to pick. Uh, but anyway, I can scroll down here and I can find particular things and just Alt P will turn the preview on, Alt P turns the preview back off, which I will do right now. Another feature you can do, which is kind of cool, is I want to see uh, how big this file is. But you'll notice right now that my um, 
view that I'm looking at doesn't show all of my file properties. I could click up on view, I could click on the uh, uh, information panel, I could do all that. But remember, we're not trying to remove our hands from the keyboard, we just want to be able to do it fast and easy. So one of the things that you can do, one of the, the cool ways you can do this is if you'll hold down the Alt key as you're looking at a document and double click on it, it actually pops up all of its file information automatically, including file size, date created, all the metadata, it's got security information, detail information, etc. So it's just a fast and easy way, instead of having to click, right click, go down to properties, open up properties, you'll just hold down that Alt key, double click on any program, doesn't matter which one. So uh, I can go back, for example, into pictures, and I want to see this picture of a village. I double click, and it'll tell me all the information that I need about when it was captured and what its size is and all that, just with a simple click of a button. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's how we see properties, alt and double click. Um, you'll notice, by the way, now that we're in File Manager, we're not using that Windows key the way we did with Windows. Windows key is for Windows, and then Control and Alt in particular are used mostly in this File Manager. Let's say in File Manager I want to create another window. People often want to do this. They want to move files from one folder to another. Well, the easiest way to do that is just simply hold down the Control key and use N, which for most of the applications is a way to do New. Control N. Now I've opened it up, it looks just like the folder I was in, so it's like, hmm, do I have two windows open or not? What's the easiest way to figure that out? Use your Windows key, we learned this from last chapter, and dock it to the right. How do I dock it? Windows and right, and it instantly docks to the right. I simply pull up the second instance to the left, and I can easily drag and drop files back and forth. Um, so uh, this is a great example of how this stuff kind of builds on each other. It's not just saving you time on one task, it's when you string them together that something that might take a minute to do, you can do in a matter of seconds. That's where the real productivity comes in. Um, if I want to close a window, just as I hit Control N to open a window, Control W closes that window down. So whichever window is active, you hit Control W. I told you I'd tell you how do you close these windows as you do it. Control N is the way to do that. Um, there's also a way, if you want to, inside of an individual file manager, if I wanted to create a new folder, um, we know that Control N creates a new document window, but if I hold the Shift key down, Control Shift and N, it actually will pop up a new folder, and it's already ready for me to name. So I will call this Test, right? It's pretty simple. And again, if I don't want it, I can just hit Delete, and it's gone. So Control N opens up a new file manager window. Control Shift N opens up a new folder inside that window. Makes it very easy to do. Uh, by the way, you'll notice I maximized just a second, and I did it the bad way because I took my hand off the keyboard and I came out here and I clicked on the deal. We can do that at any time just by hitting the F11 key. F11 maximizes it, hit F11 again, it's going to pop it right back down to the size it was before. So it's really easy to focus yourself on something and then jump back to all the other work that you were working on at any given time. Close this window down here. Okay, so that's how we uh, kind of zoom, we get some previews, we can double click. Remember using that Alt key, double clicking allows me to see the properties. Control N and Control W open up a window, close a window down. Control Shift N will add a, a folder and of course uh, F11 uh, is the way we maximize a window or unmaximize a window. One of the things that most people always want to do in the um, file manager is to search for their files. So how would I do that? Well, normally you'd pull your hand off your mouse, you'd go up here, you'd click in the search, you'd start typing. That's very inefficient. There's got to be a way to do it. And of course, there's a way to do it. And in this case, there's actually three ways to do it. I'm going to teach you the way I like the most. Um, and you'll see why here in a second. You could use Control F. You could use Control E, and I've listed these on your cheat sheet, so you have them both if you want to. But the one I would suggest you use is F3. Now, why would I tell you F3? Notice when I hit F3 instantly that my cursor is now up in the search bar, and I can start typing T-I-M, and it's going to find me everything with the word Tim in it. And sure enough, it did. 
I'll escape to get out of that. F3 allows you to search quickly. Just instantly hit F3 and start typing, and your search is there. You don't have to leave the mouse. You don't have to do anything else. Um, what's cool about that, though, is the other thing that we typically want to do is we want to go up into the menu bar of the applications or the file structure that I'm in. So F3 allows you to do that search. What does F4 do? It allows you to type right into that hierarchy of menus to move yourself up and down as necessary. And that's why I like F3, F4. Again, there's multiple ways to do this, but if you get used to using those, you'll remember F3 when I want to search, F4 when I want to move up and down the hierarchy inside there. Now, speaking of that, um, let's talk about how we would move through some of this hierarchy. So I'm going to go into camera roll, inside of camera roll. If I was going to uh, create a new folder, I could do control shift and N uh, folder. Sorry, I just started to give away what I was doing. I was saying I could hit right click, go to new folder and type test. And I could go into this test folder and I'll make another one, right click test. But what I was going to challenge you with is we learned how do you make a new folder. So anyone remember what those keystrokes are? Hopefully you remember. I'll flash it up for you. Yep. Uh, but I'll call this test two. So we put it in there. So now I'm inside this folder. What if I want to navigate up and down what they call the breadcrumbs here? moving inside and outside this folder structure. I don't want to take my hand off, find the mice, go up here and click, and then click back in and navigate around that way. That's not very efficient. What we can do to navigate is we can use the Alt and those arrow keys. So watch this. If I use Alt and left arrow, it takes me back one up the chain. So camera roll back and forth. So from where I was to where I am, it's kind of like a, uh, undo if you will but it's in the hierarchy um, if I use the right arrow so alt and right arrow it rolls me back down it's like a redo so it takes me back in if I use an alt and an up arrow it'll take me up the hierarchy okay so this is different than an undo you'll notice that uh, again if I use the back arrow it takes me to where I was use the forward arrow it takes me where I was before that one but the up arrow constantly takes you up one level higher. So you see how I'm backing myself out of um, the hierarchy by using Alt and Up. And it keeps taking me one level higher, one level higher, one level higher until I can get to the point that I want. So it's an easy way to move through folders. It makes your life easier. We talked about opening windows, the file manager. We talked about zooming. We talked about preview. Just a few things you can do inside the file manager to make your life easier, become more productive. Keep practicing and let's review them uh, real quickly. Let's review what we learned, make sure it's sinking in.